Welcome to Rick's Corner. I'd like to do a tribute to a very good old friend of mine, Kent Keene, who recently passed away a week ago, right before the 4th of July. He uh, had come out here in the 70s with Roger Callard and trained at Gold's Gym. He was one of the group that hung out with us. He had entered many contests and won a few titles. And he ended up working at Gold's Gym for a while, but was always there with a smile on his face and always helping somebody do something. Kent was in great shape and he was a great guy and he trained hard. And he always had a smile and a laugh going on. I remember him very, very well. But we worked uh, several TV shows together, like Flip Wilson and Mitzi Gaynor and some of the uh, variety shows that came on, I think it was NBC at the time. Um, and we hung out together at the beach and we just, he just wanted the guys. And he wasn't doing well for several years. And just like everything in life, you kind of lose track of people. You don't see them anymore because you move. And then I heard he was in a, um, a retirement home and I ran into him at the omelet parlor several years ago with some friends and he said hi to me and I didn't recognize him. He had put on quite a bit of weight. Um, I didn't know it was him at first. But his shoulders were shot and his knees were shot. He could hardly walk. He was on a walker that had a seat on it and he could barely get around. So eventually um, he went into the home that was a retirement home and he was there for most of the time. He'd come down to the beach contest in Venice and he would be one of the judges or be behind the scenes and he'd help out with stuff and he did as much as he could do from a wheelchair, not a wheelchair, but a walker. But Kent was a great guy and I felt sorry to hear that he had passed away because you lose track and you wish you would have kept touch with people because you'd known him a long, long time and I had sent him a get well letter a year ago and um, he had called me and left me a message saying how much he appreciated that because he never really heard from anybody. And the fact that I had him in my mind and told him how much I, he meant to me meant a lot to him. And now that he's gone, I feel very sad that I couldn't even follow through more and spend some more time with him. So if you have people like this in your life that mean a lot to you and you lose track, stay in touch with them because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. They could be gone and that's the end of it. And you never got to tell them how much they meant to you and how much they meant to life and what they brought to your life and to others around them. Ken Keen, you'll be surely missed. We loved you. You were a wonderful guy. You were a great guy to train with. We had good times on these TV shows. You and I had a lot of laughs, and we told a lot of jokes to each other. And I will miss you, brother. You were one of the best, and this tribute's for you.